hey, TLC, or whomever gets this, I just thought about something. And this could change the way we live our lives. This could change the way we see God. This is this could change the way we live our Christians' life, our Christian lives. Because there's something going on in my life. It's not a sin issue, so don't think that. But there's an area of my life that my wife and I are believing God for for something. And we've seen these baby miracles or these continuous miracles that God is doing. But I remember God telling me, he says, Jerry, just because you have received the manifestation of this miracle in part, don't stop believing God for the full manifestation. And so what he's saying is, okay, great, Jerry, you prayed and this is the first step. But as you pray about this specific thing, as you and your wife fast and pray and believe you and that we're not moved by what we hear, see, or feel, we're moved by the word of God. Just because you see one part of the miracle manifested and happening, don't stop praying. And so then, as I'm praying, God says, Jerry, there are times that you and other people want just the issue to go away and be solved quickly. But at the level that you are willing to fight for your miracle is the same level that God will give you faith to fight for your miracle. Isn't that good? At the same level that we say, Lord, I don't care how long this thing is in my life. I don't care how long this thorn is in my side. I'm going to fight and pray and fast and fight and pray and fast and fight and pray and fast until I see the full manifestation. And if that takes 10 years, if that takes 20 years, if that takes however long, I'm willing to stand. And that is the miracle that God told me today. And so I challenge you guys right now. I don't know where you want. I don't know what you believe in God for, but don't wish the issue away. God is trying to build us up in the process as we're praying. God is trying to create a greater capacity for faith as we're praying and believing him for what only he can do. And if we could do it, why do we need him? If we could do it, why do we need to pray to God? And so God is always going to allow things to come in our lives, not sin things, but temptations, uh, difficulties, trials, to make sure that we stay connected to him. Because think about this for a second, y'all. Would we really pray and seek God this much if it was easy? Would we pray and seek God this crazy, this, this, at this magnitude, if things were so easy? No, we wouldn't. Nobody wouldn't. We'd go off and buy a boat and, and take a vacation every 10 days. So praise God, because that blessed me because I'm sitting here believing God, believing God. And I'm like, God, why can't this thing just go away? And God says, Jerry, my grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient, Jerry. My grace is sufficient. So to you guys, his grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. So don't stop praying. Don't stop believing. Exp allow God to expand your, your faith vat, your faith house, and let him continually do those miracles until you, and oh, you may have more than one thing you're praying for, praise God. Well, that means that you, that he's trying to create a bigger faith bat, a bigger faith skillet <laughs> to hold all the goodness, amen? All right, I'm back at church. See y'all, have a great day, bye-bye.